Hello, welcome to PBS The Tut. Broken identification continuation. Look at the internal structure of the tooth. So, the structure of the tooth is made up of the enamel, the dead tie, the pulp cavit, the gum, the cement, the nerves, as well as the blood vessels. Now the pulp cavity is the one that contains the nerves and the blood vessels. The cement is the one that anchors the tooth into the jawbone. The enamel is very hard since it contains calcium and phosphate. And the dentine has got its own function. Let's look at the function of the path of the tooth. The enamel, this is the hardest substance in the body of an animal and it is made up of calcium and phosphate. These two are responsible for its strong property. Its function include preventing the tooth from wearing out, using, used as a biting and grinding surface. It's also used to protect the tooth from damaging. For example, when you're inserting strong things in the, in the tooth. Dentine, this contains fine canals that link the pulp cavity to the enamel. So these are linked together. We have the pulp cavity itself. This is a space within the tooth that contains cells, nerves, and blood vessels. The nerves make the tooth sensitive to temperature changes, while the blood vessels supply the tooth with food and oxygen. Make sure you know those two functions of the nerves and the blood vessels. So both, all the cells, nerves, and blood vessels are found in the pulp cavity. So in, when it's something is cold, the nerves will be able to sense that sensitivity. The cement, this anchors the tooth to the jawbone, so that the, the tooth is properly strong inserted inside the jawbone properly. Now we'll look at the dental formula, the number of teeth in the half of an organism. Of an organism. This is the number of teeth in an animal according to the upper and the lower jaw in half of its mouth. Only half of the mouth, that's what we call dental formula. Now, this number of teeth can be the all those types of teeth. Now, let's look at an example in human beings. We've got two incisors, upper and two incisors, lower. One canine upper, one canine down, two incisors, two premolars up, two premolars down, three molars up, three molars down. That is just in half of the mouth. So together they are 16. When you multiply by two, it will lead to 32. Same as in the cat, same as in the cow, also in the rat. So that's how we find dental formula of an animal. Now make sure that the number of teeth upper and the number of teeth lower they are only in half of an animal. Thank you so much for watching. Call for more of online learning for biology and other subjects. Thank you.